as we dive right back into game number three here. Instinct and final boss in our losers bracket finals is all tied up one to one. Who is going to get into it? Here comes the game. All righty. Well, game three is going to be Team King on Construct. And guess what, everybody? This is Instinct's favorite game type. So I'm expecting a strong performance out of Roy, Lunchbox, Walshy, and Soviet. But final boss, they're not too bad at this game at either. So let's going to get this one underway with the former captain of final boss, Walshy. He's off to a tough start, though, as he's taken out by Strong Side's grenade. Soviet with the rockets, putting them to use on Ogre 2, blowing himself up, but guess what? That's all four dead for final boss. We're going to watch as Roy is going to pick up some hill time. He's got the sniper rifle, and Walshy, he's got the rocket. Did you notice, Chris, right off the break, final boss got 11 seconds of hill time? Did not even pick that up, but guess what, Nexi? It doesn't matter, because we got Instinct here with 15 seconds, and they had better map control. Walshy respawning into the hill. Roy is down low as well, watching the bottom basement, but I want to stay on board with Soviet. This kid has been playing extremely impressive all tournament long, and I think he's really feeling more comfortable than he has ever done in a tournament. Absolutely. I mean, you could see him down there leaning back a little bit, trusting his squad. This kid has impressed me. He's running around, just staying, you know, near Lunchbox and Roy, like I said, the backbone, and proving that he belongs on this squad. Well, Soviet right now going up against Ogre 1 in the hill. Ogre 1 putting some great shots on him. Walshy cleaning up the kill. And now we got more hill time from Instinct. Now, they say this is their best game type. Nexi, can you tell me what do they do better than other teams? Well, check it out. They just had all four dead from Final Boss. They caught Final Boss spawning back wall, and they're trying to outslay him again. We got two down from Final Boss again. They're doing a great job slaying these guys, even though they claim to be the best objective team that can also slay. All righty. Well, just under two minutes into the game. Game. Taking a look here at final boss. These guys stand composed. Walshy versus strong side. Strong side getting the better of him, but Walshy being sneakier. Check out Walshy's versatility. He can run around, he can slay, he can get in hill. He seems to be everywhere on the map and so unpredictable. Yeah, he seems to be doing a lot of damage with half shields this event as well. He's playing more aggressively, and he said, that's the way our whole team plays. We don't care about stats. We play for wins. And it seems to be paying off here because they are the second best team I've seen so far. Final boss definitely struggling with Classic. But you know what? They're playing pretty decent now in the Wizards Bracket Finals. I think the Ogres are taking their game up a whole nother level. Oh, man. These are a different set of twins than I've seen at every other event. The Ogres have definitely stepped it up. Whatever, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever neighbor taught them is definitely showing because they're just playing phenomenal. Phenomenal. I, like I said it. Word. All right, strong side going up against Lunchbox. Lunchbox getting the hill time, though. It looks like Instinct only with the six-second lead here. Final boss keeping it close. And no one has really been able to lock down the top yet. That is one of the things I've noticed. Well, Construct King is always this is a game type that I've noticed to be always back and forth. The hills are constantly moving. Some teams are always going to be better than other hills. The, excuse me. Some hills will be easier for some teams compared to other hills. Oh, that was kind of hard to say. It gets difficult late in the evening. <laughs> We're jumping on board with Soviet. He's dodging shots, but not dodging grenades. Ogre One's got his rockets. He's dead, too. Fucking death finger in full action. I'm going to a guy who's not in any danger. It's Ogre 2. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, she was there, baby, and he's got a better BR this time around. If Walshy hey, dies here, Chris, because you switched to him, there's something going on. You really do have a death finger. It happens every tournament, man. Just don't touch me. <laughs> Done. I still want to live. I got more life to live. Walshy going up against Ogre 1, putting a few shots, changing direction now on to Strong Side, and it seems that Strong Side is the only player that Walshy can't quite finish kills on. I want to jump on board, though, with Neighbor, the newest member of Final Boss. We haven't said his name once so far. This game. I know a lot of these guys, you know, Walshy being with Instinct now and also Soviet and then maybe with Final Boss. But when you go, when these guys are playing each other, does Walshy tell Instinct anything about Final Boss or does their whole strategy change now that they have Neighbor? 
Well, I think that Walshie would definitely tell his teammate in preparation how to play against Final Boss, but I think that the Final Boss strategy has really changed without Walshie on the squad and with Neighbor teaching them to play more aggressively, to do more flanks, and to be bigger distractions. Neighbor finally being taken down by Soviet. We're jumping on board with Roy. He's eating up the hill time. Now, Roy normally is one of the biggest slayers for Instinct. Why is he sitting in the hill? I think Instinct, everybody on Instinct plays that role. They'll all get in hill. And check out how Instinct will distract Final Boss up top. A three will charge while one distracts it, uh, while one player from Instinct will sit in the hill, even though all the Final Boss is alive. I mean, you can't look at the hill when you have people shooting you in the back. Now, compared to the way Walsh played against Straight Ripping, would you say he's playing more aggressive against Final Boss? Walsh, he's everywhere. He seems to be more confident against Final Boss. Maybe he has something to prove. Maybe, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not in Walsh's head, so I can't really tell you, but I definitely notice he's playing a lot better than before. Well, if you'll notice this, Roy just got the sniper rifle. Walsh is now sitting on the hill. Roy missing a few shots. That's because he hasn't been firing the last two minutes. He's been sitting down low as Instinct picked up a big 30-second chunk of time down in the bottom hill, the hardest one to control. Nexi, what's going on? Exactly like I was talking about earlier. Roy just creating a distraction distraction up top. Final boss is just staring down at the hill guy, but Roy's shooting him in the back. What are you going to do about that? All right, well, Ogre 2 is in the hill momentarily. He was taken down. Roy on a big, big living spree right now, and the hill is about to move in one second. 